Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Magenta Pixie. Today's story is called Red Squares in the Hot Tub. Gloria Love really enjoyed visiting the crystal hot tubs. These were like giant natural hot springs made of crystal. They were used by the villagers for many different reasons, one being relaxation and hydrotherapy and just to get together and socialize. But for psychic pixies like Gloria, the hot spring water inside the crystals, they acted like a huge pineal gland or a generator or an amplifier. It was very much like sitting within a huge crystal ball. And Gloria could see images in the bubbles. Sometimes at these crystal hot tubs, Gloria would receive a full vision. And she remembered back in November, two days before the competition, she saw herself surrounded by red squares. And she knew who was going to win the competition and receive the prize of a large crate of bananas. It looked to her like a landslide win. However, to her horror, after seeing these red squares, she began to see each of these squares flip one by one to blue in an almost mechanical way, quite unnatural. They just flipped themselves over. She realized then that the blue team were going to cheat and steal the winning slot from the tea tree. One by one, each red square flipped to blue in front of her eyes. What on earth are we going to do, she thought, and she tried really hard to turn the squares back red again with her mind, but she couldn't do it. She realized she was just not powerful enough to do this on her own. So she just sat there in the crystal hot tub, looking at all these blue squares that had all been previously red in the vision. The rightful winner would have his crate of bananas taken from him. After what seemed like an age, slowly but surely, the blue squares began to turn red again. Gloria heaved a sigh of relief at this sight, and then she began to communicate with her higher guidance system, the Pleiadian Council of Light. How do we get the squares red again? How does it happen? She asked. It is the aware and activated villagers that do this, the council replied. The pixies, fairies and elves that come from the stars, they are the ones that do it. They turn the squares red. Gloria did not really understand how that could be possible, but she was very pleased that eventually the squares do turn red again. That gap, though, between them being flipped mechanically to blue and then turning red again, well, it seemed like ages. I mean, how long is this? She had no idea, but this first vision was back in November, two days before the competition. Gloria had been back to the crystal hot tubs many times since the November vision. And she'd seen other things and she'd found answers to questions as the hot tub acted like this huge pineal gland crystal generator. She was not expecting to receive any more visions of the red squares, for she saw that first vision as a complete vision in and of itself. So she was really surprised when eight months later in the month of July, she got into the crystal hot tub as usual. And after relaxing back and enjoying the lovely hot bubbles, she began to see a red square floating next to her. Then she saw another one and another, and another, until the entire hot tub was filled with floating red squares. 
Oh my goodness, she exclaimed. Is this the time that the tea tree is rightfully seated as the competition winner? And is he given his box of bananas? She knew that something was happening. So the very next day, after the vision in July, she went over to see the beloved mother, the white witch of the village, and master sage and spellcaster. She lived on the edge of the village in a hidden dimensional bubble that only activated fairy folk could access. How can I find out what is happening? Gloria asked Mother. What do the red squares mean? Mother poured the pine needle, thyme and dandelion tea concoction into a little wooden cup for Gloria. Drink this, she said. It will protect you from poisoned apple dust. Gloria began to sip the tea as Mother spoke. The red squares, they mean that justice will be done. The true competition winner will be known. It is now set in the timelines. You would not have seen the red squares if this were not the case. So the wrong of the theft of the winning prize, the wrong, the stealing, that wrong is being rectified. It is being put right. This is taking place and the true winner will be shown. The cheating will be exposed and seen. How this actually manifests, what the overall outcomes are, we do not know. There may be many different pathways to the conclusion. But the conclusion, the outcome, what you saw, red squares, that will happen, for it is destined. It has been eight months, mother, said a deeply relaxed Gloria. The tea was taking effect and she was beginning to feel very sleepy. Why don't you lie down, Gloria? Close your eyes and together we will visualize this red square energy and lend our positive energy to it together. Gloria did as she was bid and lay down upon mother's soft floor bed made of leaves and hay and moss. Gloria closed her eyes and mother began to speak. We, the people of this realm, we who hold the service to others, positively polarized vibration, we who stand for truth, justice, integrity, alignment to light and love, we ask this day and lend our collective energies to this justice in relation to the situation regarding the red squares. We ask that all shall move organically and naturally into aligned formation with truth. We ask for the truth to be seen and known and for justice to be done in a way that serves all for their highest good. We ask and stand strong for this justice and for the rightful winner to be shown. So be it, so it is, it is done. Mother was very careful not to influence universal flow with her asking. For the aim here was simply for her to acknowledge her own light and to hold high a beacon for truth within this situation. How this would actually manifest was up to the universal intelligence and energies and creative frequencies. But she knew the pixie child Gloria would be able to see something within this energetic manifestation field. Tell me, Gloria, still with your eyes closed, tell me what you feel. I do feel you were right, Mother, not to influence the energies here. I do feel it will just happen 
naturally, as you say, as you asked for. Indeed, child, indeed, replied mother. But do you see anything? Just a clue, perhaps, as to how this may play out. Anything at all? Well, it all takes place in the American domain, said Gloria. Yes, child, yes, yes, yes. Is there anything else you see? Well, so much is going on. It's very complex. It's chaotic. I'm feeling lots of anger and incredulous disbelief. Papers being shown all over. Proof being given. Again and again, proof being given. Numbers and figures and, and papers. And the other side claiming this new information is the cheating. Trying to cover it all up. Trying to hide it. But it doesn't work, mother. People are speaking out. It's this huge, huge scandal and everybody is talking about it. And I see the red squares again now, mother. They are trying to hide them. These, these other people, they're trying to hide them. They're taking big piles of red squares and they're tying them up with string, what looks like string, and they're putting a white square on top of the pile of red squares. It's like they're trying to hide the red squares under the white square, trying to disguise the red squares. So it looks like a pile of white squares, but it's not. It's just more cheating. So what does the white square signify, Gloria? asked Mother. Um, well, it doesn't have much of a feeling. I'm just picking up neutrality. Loss of admin. Null and void squares. And I'm hearing the words null and void. Disqualification. Irrelevant. Unimportant. Hidden. Okay, then what happens with this pile of squares? Well, it's funny, but the string just comes undone and all the red squares fall out again. So everyone sees them. No matter what they do, no matter how they try to hide the red squares or tie them up in this bundle, the red squares just keep coming back. And I feel that there is nothing that can be done to prevent this happening. And then justice is done, just as you asked for, Mother. And the rightful winner? What happens to him? Does he claim the box of bananas? Do you see that, Gloria? Yes, he does. He does, but in an unusual and unexpected way. It's not just him. There are others too. And he shares the bananas with them. So you mean there are many top bananas, not just one top banana? Asked Mother. I can't see that, Mother. Only that the tea tree has become a team. It always was a team, but now you begin to see the team. Gloria, said Mother, are there 17 bananas? Can you count them? Uh, I can't see that fully, but it's something connected to 17 bananas, said Gloria, and she opened her eyes. My visions have gone now, Mother, she said, and I've finished this lovely tea. Do come back again, child, said Mother. There is much more we are yet to divine. And in the meantime, go to the Crystal Springs. Keep in touch with the Pleiadian Council of Light and be sure to inform me of any more visions you get. I will, Mother, I will. Thank you. Mother took the empty teacup from Gloria and set it down next to a red candle. Challenging times ahead, she said to Gloria, but good times too, in the sense that all shall be uncovered and revealed in these coming times. Gloria said her goodbyes to Mother and left the magical hidden dimension and returned back to her own time in the village. 
there was work to be done. And that is the end of the story. Thank you everyone for listening and I hope to see you again at another story time with Magenta Pixie.